Hi, welcome back to Give Me Five Friday. I'm here with our new interim superintendent, Mr. Jeff Lavender. And so we thought this would be a great way to introduce him to everyone and have some fun while we're at it. So thanks so much for coming by today. I know you're busy because you're also the principal at Belago Middle School, correct? For one more week. One yes. more week, yes. And then the official start date here will be March 20th. Yes, ma'am. So, yeah, well, we're really excited. I've known Jeff for many years. In fact, you're the reason I came to Casa Grande. I was teaching in Stanfield, and then I decided to get a job at Cactus Middle School. And then after a year, he left to open Belago. But we kept in touch over the years and, you know, professionally and personally. And so it's all just come around again. We have quite a few things in common. One is being graduates of ASU. Yes. Yes. Go Devils. Yes, definitely. However, when it comes to football, we vary a little bit. You are an avid. Arizona Cardinals fan. And I am a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. So that's been fun over the years because one year there was a Super Bowl with the Cardinals and the Steelers. The Steelers won. And so uh, Mr. Lavender got to come and substitute my class for a period and teach a lesson. So that was super fun. And all while wearing a Ben Roethlisberger jersey. I, I'm sure it was fun for you. <laughs> It's bringing back a very dark day in my life when we had a lead with two minutes to go and we let it go. Oh, but. well, you're a man of your word, you're a good sport, and you're lots of fun and super involved in the community. So besides being the principal and now interim superintendent, tell us what your role is in the city. Uh, currently, right now, I'm on the city council. I was elected in 2020, uh, and this year I'm serving as uh, mayor pro tem. Awesome, and involved in all aspects of the community. Every time there's a community event, you're there, so. Yeah, I think my proudest uh, uh, activity that I do with the city is our annual Unity March that we do e each year. We're about 20 years now. Yeah. Uh, we had to take a couple years off uh, because of COVID, mm -hmm. uh, but it's just a great day. The entire school participates as well as students from other schools. This year, Anthony Edwards talked about a community of love and how to you know, how to get along, how to respect each other. And so uh, I look forward to that event each year more than any event that the city does. Yeah, and I've marched with you through the streets of Casa Grande for that before. So yeah, that's great. Yeah. Awesome, all right, you ready for your five questions? I am ready. Okay, the first one is, if you could trade places with anyone for a week, who would it be and why? If I could trade places with anybody for a week, it would be April of 1986 in Jack Nicklaus, when Jack Nicklaus uh, won the Masters for the sixth time, his 18th major. I've been a golfer my whole life, loved to play golf. Uh, I wish I was good enough to play mm -hmm. on the tour, but I wasn't. Um, but uh, to be Jack Nicklaus that week and him charging, uh, winning the golf tournament on the back nine was phenomenal and so I would love to have trade places with him. Awesome, that, 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 sounds, that sounds pretty phenomenal. Okay, so something about you that I thought was super cool is that you have visited all 50 states in the United States. That is correct. And um, so if you didn't live in Arizona, which of those states would you choose to live? You know, that's interesting. If I was gonna live in another state, it would probably be Massachusetts. I love the city of Boston. If you've never been to Boston, the history, the sports uh, that the town has. And then you could go down on the weekend, down to Cape Cod, uh, do sailing, which I don't do, but I'd learn to sail if I lived in Cape Cod. That would be one. If I could be live in any one place though, it would be Augusta, Georgia, live on the Augusta National Golf Course and play there. I think that's the only thing I know about Georgia pretty much is the golf, or Augusta is the golf course. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, yeah. it's the golf course. <laughs> I had the privilege of going a year ago now uh, and walking the golf course and it was just, you know, I've, watching it for 50 years on television, even it, high definition television does not do that golf course justice. Wow, beautiful view to have your coffee every yes, morning. Yes, it was. <laughs> All right, so you are known for having really great engaging motivational assemblies at your schools and so if you could invite anybody to an assembly to speak to your students, who would it be? And you know, I have to look at this question from two questions. If I'm looking to motivate the students and impact them, then I would have, I would have invited Gandhi uh, to do the assembly because for him to talk about peace and why peace is important, uh, the nonviolent movement, uh, 
you know, that inspired Dr. Martin Luther King. That who I would do to, for impact. But if I was doing an assembly just so I could meet somebody, uh -huh. I'd love to have an assembly with Jennifer Lopez. Oh, and, wow, and, and that's meet her. amazing. And so, uh, so those, yeah. and I think the kids would enjoy um, I think an assembly with Jennifer Lopez <laughs> as well, whether she were dance or sing. Uh, she's a remarkable a lady. Yeah, she has a great personality. She's she funny. does. Yeah, awesome. All right, J Lo, if you're if you're listening, this is this is on YouTube. Yes, please, J Lo, give us a call. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If there was something you knew you would, if there was something you could attempt to do and you knew you wouldn't fail, what would you do? You know, something that I would do, but I'm afraid to do it. So if I knew I wouldn't fail, because failure would probably be death, would be skydiving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I know that there is just no way. Uh, if we even got up there in the sky that I could jump out of a plane yeah. uh, in fear of what would happen. I don't even bungee. No. And so, no. <laughs> but that would, if, yeah. fear of no failure would be skydiving. Yeah, that's a good one. I think that would be mine too. Our skydive over New York City would be incredible. Oh. Land in Central Park. Oh, there you go. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and finally, what would be your walk-up song? So you're up to bat in the, playing Major League Baseball. Every time I go to a baseball game and they have a song, I'm like, oh, I know what my song would be, but what would your song be? Well, I went to high school in the 70s and early 80s, so REO Speedwagon, Riding Out the Storm, would be my walk-up song. Awesome. Very good. Great. So you start March 20th. What, what, what kind of plans do you have or what are you looking forward to or anything you want to say about, um, about your upcoming new chapter? <laughs> well, I'm excited to get started. Uh, the last couple of weeks have been difficult because I've kind of been in both places, juggling, fi finishing out things at Vilago and getting started here. Uh, so we've got some priorities right away. We need to hire a new high school principal for Casa Grande Union, and we want to get the right individual in there who's highly energetic, who's going to be visible, uh, building relationships with our students uh, in, near to the ground. And so that is a priority. Um, also uh, making sure that our students that are all eligible uh, are going to be able to graduate the end of May and having some awesome graduation uh, celebrations are, are going to be important. Uh, and it's just getting out and getting to know people. And so I plan to be in every classroom uh, before the end of the school year as well uh, to see all our teachers. Teachers are my heroes. Uh, they work so hard uh, to provide uh, guidance for our students, in inspire our students, and I want to get out and see the great things that they're doing in the classrooms and see how I can support them uh, to be able to do their jobs to the best of their ability. So those are really the priorities moving forward right now. Awesome. Well, that's great. Well, I'm super excited and I appreciate you taking time out of your very busy schedule. So thank you for coming today and we hope you all have a great weekend and happy Friday. Happy Friday. You guys Take care and God bless.